May 24th, and we have just pushed through a decent sized May OPEX, and we wanted to cover some of the narratives going around in the market today and give a what we think is a more realistic alternative view to the idea that Snapchat is the reason the market uh, sold off this morning. So what you're looking at here is the last five days in the S&P 500, and you can see that uh, we came down on Thursday off of the back of a fairly large VIX expiration. Uh, we talked about this at length. Um, not just on our site, spotgamma.com, but if you flip over to Tasty Trade, and we'll put the link to this video, uh, we laid all this out last Wednesday, uh, the flows that we thought were going to come into the market are on OPEX, and it came out to be a fairly accurate depiction of what would ensue over the next few days into yesterday, that's uh, Monday. So watch that. Again, we'll put it in the uh, replay. And so basically what happened is we had this move lower into Friday OPEX, and then we got this very vicious rally from roughly 3, 3.15, on Friday afternoon, all the way up into Monday afternoon. And if you look at our subscriber note uh, from Friday morning, we say that basically the May options expiration was of decent size. It wasn't a massive one, but it's good enough size uh, that we thought that the market could push up into the 400 SPY uh, or 4,000 SPX level. And that once that move happened, that would mean that the short cover fuel uh, would have been tapped out. It was a very strong odds of, of mean reversion in the market. And so, Basically, what happens is when you have big put options expire, as they did on Friday night, that dealers and other traders who are short put options, they have to buy back short hedges, and that is a short cover rally. So once that fuel stops, once that fuel subsides, as it did on Monday afternoon, then there's no real support for the market. Now, that doesn't mean that it has to fall all by itself, but it means like just a nudge of a mean we could get a really big mean reversion. And so what happens then on Tuesday, as you can see here, is this is where we closed in the S&P on Monday. And on Tuesday, obviously, we kind of gapped lower. And everyone came out and said, Snapchat, that's the reason. And and look, the, the reality of that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to us. Sort of back this idea, you know, here you can see obviously the move from Snapchat today, it's down 50% uh, and the stock's getting hammered. And it's true that there are other stocks that are down in sympathy. Uh, Facebook, Pinterest, et cetera, are all getting hit on this. But if you recall uh, last week, Walmart had just dismal earnings. And, and Walmart has a market cap of somewhere around $350 billion. And you compare that to what Snapchat's uh, market cap, which was around $30 billion. And so the size of, of Walmart is drastically larger. And it's a little tough to see on this chart here, but you'll note that on the day that Walmart reported its, its disastrous earnings, the S&P was up on that day. And so that happens to be the day of VIX expiration in which we think that there were forces that wanted to uh, basically unwind long volatility positions and that supports the market. But if you want to say that Snapchat was just this disaster uh, and gave us all of this new information as to the state of the economy, and that's why the market was down 80 handles, then why didn't the market go down uh, after Walmart, which is a much bigger entity? Uh, why didn't the market go down after that day? Now, it's true that a couple of days later, Target piled on, and, and we think that really fueled uh, a major uh, move lower as when you have back-to-back -back two of the largest retailers in the world. Uh, obviously, that can pressure markets, but again, Snapchat's only a $30 billion company. And so the narrative that that was the reason that the market was down 80 handles ignores all of this positioning factor that we had discussed for uh, well over a week. Now, incidentally, if you're interested in trying out our Founders Note, we send out one of these every single morning. Hit subscribe now. You'll get a free seven-day trial of our service. But now flipping back to the market and where we see, we highlighted a few key things in our subscriber note for this morning. Number one, 4,000 is likely to remain a significant resistance level going into June options expiration. And then from the bottom side on the bottom, we're looking at 3,700 as major support. And that should hold, we think. It's going to be kind of a grind in that range into June options expiration. June options expiration is a major event. Mark that on your calendar now. You have uh, the 15th, which is a Wednesday. You have VIX expiration and the FOMC, and then you have a very large options expiration as well. So that is a very key date. And as we put on Twitter this morning, half joking, uh, look, maybe you just want to sell a straddle now and go away for the next few weeks with Memorial Day holiday and, and summer really kicking off. Uh, we say that kind of tongue in cheek, right? Because yes, VIX is high. And so while we could grind down into that 3,700 to 4,000 area, we think that the odds of a major VIX spike are really low here. And that's because there's a big VIX call position, which I think indicates that the market's pretty well hedged. And then the second thing is, there are still really big puts in the S&P 500. As you can see here, this delta tilt indicator measures essentially the amount of put delta versus the amount of call delta. And as you can see, we are at a low that compares to March of 2020 
uh, and as well as the December 2018 low. And so this is telling us that there's a huge put position in the market. Basically, again, another indication that things are pretty well hedged. So for those reasons, uh, again, we're not looking for a big volatility breakout. Doesn't mean that the market can't sort of grind lower. But in other words, the market that we've had recently, this grind lower, you know, VIX is around 30 sort of holds in that level. Uh, we're looking for that to continue for another couple of weeks into that key June OPEX period. So if you found uh, this helpful, please let us know. Subscribe and add a like it would be very helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and give us a free trial, a seven day free